This is the traditional Mongolian long song, The Fresh and Cool Hill. It is performed by Buying Dalaga, a Mongolian singer known worldwide. At the World Youth Festival held in Warsaw, Poland in 1955, she won a gold medal for her rendition of The Vast Grassland. Traditional Mongolian long songs took shape as early as the beginning of the 13th century when the Mongolian ethnic group came into being. In the following years, Mongolia, said to be a country on horseback, has brought long songs wherever their horses have taken them. Today, this art of long songs is mainly found in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region of China and Mongolia. It can also be found in other places where Mongolians live, such as Xinjiang Autonomous Region, Qinghai Province, Gansu Province in China, and Buryat in Russia. The Mongol children, Hamgin, Isni, Ahoin Soilin, Dejin, or Stendo, or Stendo, Mongol children, the Triad, the Harsenbeek, the Mongol children, the Wasa, Mother Choyte, Mazama. Madame Gurgidich, Madame Dote Joseph, Honey Madame Gurgidich, in Done Hugun, Mongol of Tin Doni, Ichos. Honey Hero de Jota, Sora Jetic. Honey Hero Jota, Hosson Horatastak. In Hug Aichinut, Mongol of Tin Doni, Unsing Ich Ainos. За <laughs> Mongolians call long songs wurur tingdao. Wurur means long and eternal, while dao means singing. This exactly encapsulates the musical form of long songs. The words of long songs are always few and gives it a characteristic as short lines with long tunes. The unique musical structure and form of the long songs makes it convenient for Mongolians to fully express their feelings. Some of the long songs are long and pleasant. Others are sad and lonely. Some are loud and passionate. These long songs reflect typical inner emotions of Mongolian people, bold and unconstrained, but steady and caring, free and unrestrained, but sincere and humble.
Oh, the old wild goose is too old to fly. Oh, the old people would like to go home. These are the words of the long song Nostalgia. When seeing the old wild goose, the singer thinks of himself and his hometown. The song Nostalgia is an important piece among long songs. Homesickness, a common feeling of mankind, is beautifully expressed in the free and easy, fluctuating melody of this Mongolian folk song. In traditional communities of the Mongolian ethnic group, teaching and learning folk long songs is an issue of great importance. Children begin to learn long songs at the age of four or five. By about 10, they are taught the history, stories, figures, rites, and customs of long songs. Even more importantly, long songs are used to communicate and hand down ethnic spirit as well as respect for elders in society. It is the major method by which Mongolian people record and pass on their history and culture. In fact, the creation and passing on of every long song piece carries rich historical messages and important cultural elements.在长教民歌中，它基本上的一些主题内容，是对草原，是对高山，是对自然万物的一种亲和和纯净之情。它不仅仅是一个文化形式，而是反映了蒙古族对天地宇宙、世界万物的。一种哲学性的思考，一种哲理性的表达，而且长调民歌对蒙古族而言，它更有着一种身份识别。
和民族认同的作用。我们经常讲，凡是有蒙古族的地方，必有长调；凡是有长调的地方，必有蒙古族。From ancient times to the present, long songs have never expressed superficial thoughts or vulgar feelings. The basic themes are reverence for heaven and earth, praise of the grasslands and heroism, and prayers for parents. According to traditional Mongolian customs, grand public gatherings and activities and solemn ceremonies. Usually start with long song performance. To be more exact, only long songs with the above mentioned themes are allowed to be performed at such occasions. Mongolians live over a vast area. The differences in living environments and lifestyles have been cultivated in the various singing styles of long songs. Therefore, Mongolian long songs show both unity of style and diversity of different regions. Varied regional styles may overlap or become interwoven as well.
The long songs at banquets carry unique significance. Some Mongolian people call them tulin dao. Tulin means rights, state affairs, rules, etc. From this, we can see that Mongolian banquet songs not only create a joyful and pleasant atmosphere, but also raise the atmosphere of banquets to a state of elegance and nobility. Familiar and useful sayings and moral mottos are frequently quoted in these banquet songs. This is a traditional Mongolian long song called The Walking Horse. The performer is Mr. Hajab, the king singer of the Mongolian people. This well-known long song master once said about teaching students, only take in those who sing with their hearts instead of their mouths. A poet described his singing voice like this. When his song floats over the grasslands, the clouds in the sky forget to move, the wind on earth forgets to breathe, the old man at the stove in the yurt suddenly thinks of the old days, the maid milking a cow on the grasslands suddenly forgets where she is. All hearts and all souls whirl and fly in the open fields with his song, reluctant to return. Zhang and Halara the Dur Darasa Yaka Erwin Adhi, Darana, Namin Turim Badla, and Halar Changdia Jehad, but a Manachang dear Hush tongue. Hubjik Batajah Dulurh, Dushluk, Emma Yan Steval Jirgin.
Today, for various reasons, the art of long song, like other forms of China's cultural traditions, is at risk for survival and new development. In many areas, however, measures have been taken to preserve long songs. In December 2006, China and Mongolia established a joint committee to coordinate and enhance this project and teamed up long song experts for the preservation of traditional Mongolian long songs. China and Mongolia have agreed upon a 10-year action plan to protect long songs. In September 2007, China and Mongolia again signed an agreement to carry out field studies of long song in both countries. This is a crucial stage for the action plan to protect long song, one that is creating a road to hand down the development of traditional Mongolian folk long song. The art of traditional Mongolian long songs is a masterpiece of culture. It has reached out beyond different languages, races, and skin colors. People around the world understand, appreciate, and love Mongolian long songs. Long song doesn't just belong to the Mongolian people. It is a cultural treasure for all of mankind, an outstanding contribution of the Mongolian people to human civilization.